Okay. Perfectly square. Exactly. Sweet? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright guys, we finally made it to Greenwood, yay! It only took us like two and a half hours to get here. So I'm gonna enjoy this lovely pool behind me and then I'm gonna take you guys out tomorrow to just sort of adventure around and wander and figure out what the heck's going on in Greenwood. So I'll see you then. Bye. It's a coffee bar guys, so I like it. So look at this. See this is what they use to wrap the thing. I love these little details like this, it really makes a difference. So I'm gonna choose this one of course. So we got like hot water. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. Hot water, regular, decaf, robust. I think that's just regular. And then what I really like down here, we got this half and half creamer stuff, natural raw sugar. So if you're into like supernatural stuff like me, natural raw sugar. And we got some nice lace here and everything else. So yeah, we really have a good time. So I'm going to put my camera under my stash, and we're going to move on. Okay, so what we have in here? Eggs and like little omelette things and... Mm. Oh, 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 I'm pushing this too much. It says bagel toppers. I don't know what that means, so I guess that's just the egg omelette things. Cheese. <laughs> this, of course, is cheese. <laughs> Pretty please with sugar on top. Oh, brown sugar, dried fruit, and mixed nuts. Oh, that's pretty cool for the oatmeal. <laughs> Waffle makes you just pour. I like that. Yeah, so guys, the breakfast spread here is not too bad at all. Water. Let's see. Some fruit. <gasps> Boiled eggs. All right. I've been craving those. Some cereal. And oh my gosh, so funny. I too yummy. Yummy. I like that stuff actually is pretty good. All right. And what we think is awesome. Like, okay. Mustache cups. Yeah, man. Yeah, a mustache question. Or look, or happy. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to enjoy some of this. Okay, guys. Be sure to get this bag when you leave. Here at the Hamptons, they do this travel happy bag. Of course, it has different stickers that say different things. I'm gonna look in here right quick. Open up. There's a bottle of water. Isn't that cool? And then like a napkin. It has fancy script on it. And then let's see. This is a Nutrigrain bar. It's not too bad, right? Not too bad. And then also a mini loaf. Orange chocolate chunk. So if you're going out to explore like we are and maybe you're not too sure about lunch or something, you're not sure how long it's gonna take, this is a good little snack thing. And I'm gonna show you see you can see the neutral bar now. Cool. All right. And then also something really healthy, an apple. So these are really good to pick up. If you have never been to Hampton, I thought I'd stayed in the Hampton before, but apparently uh, that's not, I apparently wasn't Hampton-y enough. I'm not really sure what to say here uh, because the lady at that said all the Hamptons do this. So I don't know guys. Looks pretty awesome. We're doing our last minute, you know, or our second go around of the room check just to make sure we didn't leave anything in here. And after that, we're out. We're going to some place called the Emerald Triangle, I think. Because apparently this place is called the Emerald City, which is cool if you're like a Wizard of Oz fan. Emerald City. You can come to the Emerald City. When people ask you what you did, you can be like, well, I went to the Emerald City. <laughs> so we're off. See you in the next section. Camera off. What? No. Did it, did it, is it not voice oh. command? And here we are at the Emerald Triangle. Now, most of this is shopping, apparently. They do have this lovely 
lovely area down here called the Uptown Market where I guess people can come in here have little picnics and everything and I'm so they do have a small like visitor center that but it, the, when you walk in it opens up to a gallery and there's some interesting pieces here like these bees that's interesting never really seen a piece like that before somebody doing a mannequin head also interesting and just some cool stuff. Oh, look at that tree over there. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, just an interesting small gallery for a small place. Now there is one over here that's pretty funny and that's a crutch gun. So I'm gonna walk over there really quickly. Lovey, lovey. Lovey's, that's right. So we all thought that was pretty funny. It's called Balance. <laughs> Carrie Morton, you do an interesting job, my friend. So it's, this town seems to have a pretty artistic side. See, that's what I said. Brendan's like, uh -huh. That's detailed. Ooh, I really like this. See? <laughs> You're the odd man out. I am. Yes. But I usually am. Brendan is. He doesn't like it. You don't like that? I'm not crazy about it. Well, it's not for everybody, but it's really steampunky, it seems it's like, or no, lots of detail and and rusty. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Look, South Carolina, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how does it not depict the South quite accurately? I mean, <laughs> I said there's nothing about steampunk about it. I didn't say anything about not depicting the South. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> there's no steam involved in that. There's no moving parts. So I'm gonna go head over to the visitor area, visitor center side, and see what's going on. All right, so their visitor center basically consists of a slideshow, a timeline board, which is actually kind of interesting, 17.30 on. Um, let's see, the usual coupons and pamphlets. There's more coupons and pamphlets. Oh, and I think a map, that's cool. And sign in to let people know that you came to visit. And then they have we oh, yeah, have with no pin. <laughs> so bring your own pin. Uh, there's a map here, or an interesting places thing. I'll let you know. Just places to go. And we stayed up here where 17 is. We drove like this <laughs> <laughs> to about here. It's not, this place is about five minutes away from where we stayed. Not bad. And we all came in through here. Yeah, 721. Two, what is it? 221. 221 slash 72. <laughs> all right guys so that's about all there is for here. If you wish to leave a record with your call, please take your message to the sound of the phone. So this is a Blue Star Memorial Highway, which is basically like a donated, a dedicated highway. And this little place here was made, sponsored by the Orchard Garden Club of Greenwood. So we're just gonna pan over here really quickly. We've got this really nice tree thing going on here. And then look at this great arch. We've got all the, all the grass growing up here. It's beautiful. Like, we may not have seen much more, but like, uh, this is great. Like there's a lot of little touches like that here in Greenwood, little places, little green spaces that are just amazing to look at. So we're gonna get some pictures and go in there. Okay, again guys with the little touches they have around here. This is a lovely place to come sit and then they have all of this greenery here and that's actually like a little river and pond area. So we're just gonna walk over there right quick.
something a little bit more relaxed and laid back, and I think Greenwood would be a great place for you. If you haven't already, check it out online. It's a small place. There isn't a whole lot going on here. There's great dining and good shopping, and the Hampton Inn is a good place 